Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Some landing gear fit in action. Okay, this video is just for Paul and Butch, but y'all can watch. Comment if you want. <laughs> no, man, we like y'all's comments. You guys are funny. <laughs> Hey, and the hot zombie chick wins. <laughs> you just gotta put a muzzle on. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Here's my dilemma, okay? When you get this fitting right, I took my, this is the same template, my gear doors I used on my uh, wing, okay? I got them marked on this foam plug. Trying to decide where to put them. Okay. Now, this gear door fastens to this strut. Okay, and it don't move. It has a third door back here like a F4. Okay. I got all that figured out. So, we want this wheel. Right there. And, you know, my tire is a little bit small, so let's account for that. Let's pull that dude up about right there. That's where that dude should go. Now we gotta line these blocks up with our gear doors right there. Okay. Then we gotta make sure that's gonna clear the flange in our lip. So we gotta pull this whole thing back. Keeping them lines lined up. Okay, so that means it's going to go in there crooked. Okay, that's no big deal. See where my lump there, they're way off. Okay, now that's cool. We can live with that. That's probably, I figured they had going to have to be crooked anyway. But my question is, <coughs> let me take these and retract them. Bam, or extend them. I don't know, that's probably pretty close to being uh, straight. Looks like they're, t it's going to be hard to tell until the wings are on the plane. You know, I'm kind of going off these inlets here. You know, are they super straight? Let me get this plastic model out. Get our plastic model out and kind of stick it on there. Actually, they look towed in a little bit. Alright, cool. Get in there. What are you supposed to? Man, okay. Now they am gonna look they're gonna be pretty straight. Now that means that's towed in. Now can we adjust? this toe in without it messing with it being flat when it's retracted that's kind of my question or do we have to get this thing straight and adjust our gear doors Because if we get this straight, okay, that looks, that's pretty straight there. And we retract it. Bam. We are way, not way above, about a half inch. But we got to keep these in line here. 
Now I realize we could always cut them out a little bit bigger. You know, do what we need to do, but and that puts me above in front of this corner and kind of close on there you know we get a five inch tire on there and it's going to be close to it you know because this tire is let's measure it I think a five I think Paul said five inches would be scale and this one's four A two and a half. A five inch tire will still clear. We just got to make a job for that. Now, if we look at their gear door, I don't know, watch this and give me a holler, Paul. <laughs> but uh, I know you had a mounted in that plug at your house. So I know it'll work. Or can we just adjust this? Because that's a pretty big wheel well right there. That wheel well is that thick. Does it, that tire have to be absolutely flat in that wheel well? Can we put it up there, probably where it, it should go, and then adjust our toe in, and leave it turned a little bit in our wheel whip. Then that's going to mess up our gear door hinging. We need that to sit flat in there, real ones did. Hmm. Well, what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do. Don't have a heart attack, Butch. <laughs> this is going to be fast and easy, man. <laughs> now, I figured like this. I'm going to cut my flaps off of this, Butch. Because, uh, you know, I have the mold for this. It's downstairs in the basement. It's fine. And if we ever need to go back this far, we'll probably just need to cut new foam. <laughs> because... I have these molds, I have the other molds, I have the other plugs, I have the mold for this, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this up. Every place I want a bulkhead, bam, bam, I'll mark that perfect bulkhead. Where the main spar goes across there, bam, I'm going to cut it. And uh, that way I can get all my measurements, man, everything will be perfect. Then I'll just subtract the thickness of the glass off. And have some awesome templates. I think that's a pretty good idea. <laughs> what do you guys think, huh? But see that our main spar. Hold on. Our main spar is going to come through here, about right there. Am I right? Yeah, I think it's right by this gear door. So it's going to go through right here along this back gear door edge. So it's going to go vroom all the way up to this corner. So it'll actually intersect through that bulkhead this rib here and then uh, 